institutional stocks. I would love to hear the bull case for small caps in your perspective. You're funded well last year. Yeah, we did have a nice year last year. The market, uh, you know, being up barely double digits, but our fund was up 20%. But small caps are a little bit unique in that it really, uh, it really doesn't take a bull market for the small caps to do well. They're kind of a, you know, because of their nature of being small, um, they can have, almost have their own business cycle uh, that's not that dependent on the economy. That's, that's the first thing. The other thing is, is in a slow growth environment, large companies need to find new avenues of growth. And so then uh, if they can go to the small cap world, make acquisitions to make their uh, business grow, that, that makes a lot of sense. So um, there's always opportunities in small cap, small cap. I would agree that, that large caps, I think, are as cheap as I've seen them in, in the 27 years I've been in this business. But that does not uh, take away from the, the opportunities that are still there in the small cap. And, um, you know, the, the, the nice things also is about the, about the smaller companies, they're not as dependent on worldwide um, economics. And you can have some, you know, just some, some situations internally here in the U.S. that can really benefit the small caps. Yeah, they're fun to talk about because they have some interesting businesses like Briggs & Stratton. This is a stock you like. It makes gas yeah. engines. All right, it just hit a 52-week high not long ago. So isn't it mm -hmm. time to take money off the table in a case like that? What's the long-term story there with that one? Well, that's a, it's a good example of kind of it being insulated from what, everything else that's going on out there. Briggs and Stratton, of course, they're, they're, they're kind of known for making these engines that uh, they go in lawnmowers. But it's really a housing play. Uh, mattresses, lawnmowers, those kind of industries do extremely well when housing comes back. And I think we think we're in an early stages of a housing recovery. But Briggs and Stratton, because of um, the, the, the drought situation that's gone on here in the United States, there's been a real lack of uh, buying in that area. People have put off, put off those purchases for a very long time. And they've got a lot of pent-up demand that we feel is coming. The other part of Briggs and Stratton is they make uh, portable generators. And, of course, with what, what just happened with the hurricane up east, um, you know, those, those uh, generators are selling uh, as fast as they can make them right now. So it's a company that uh, is exposed to two areas that uh, should grow. Um, stock trades at a low multiple and should have a very, very uh, good next four or five years, and uh, we think it's very undervalued. All right, let me ask you another one. Uh, Atwood Oceanics, this is in the uh, offshore mm -hmm. drilling space. Now, that's a bit of a yeah. crowded space, right? So what sets that company apart from some others? Well, it's, uh, believe it or not, there are, it's not that crowded of a space. You, basically, the deep water drillers, it has very high barriers of entry. It's tough to get in that business. And here's a small cap, Atwood, that um, has about 12... Uh, rigs that that they've got they're getting day rates for and you're seeing those day rates go up quite a bit um, I believe it's an acquisition candidate but the the main thing is that the stock is it looks extremely cheap they'll earn five dollars a share that, that that we're in right now stocks around 48 and we're thinking seven dollars to 750 next year so it's trading at a very low price and we, we've just had the uh, transocean situation where they settled with the DOJ um, that's going to take a, a cloud away from a lot of these drillers, and I think you're going to see a lot more opportunities for them, especially in the in they're under owned in the investment world, and um, you know these the offshore business th there are some big opportunities, and we see a we see a rig shortage in 2013, so there there's opportunities in Atwood.